stop selling Christmas merch in eight days. So if you're gonna get it, get it now. Oh my knees. What is up, you guys? I'm Charix and. Thank you for 800,000 subscribers. That's right, we hit 800k, everyone. Uh, so yeah, I, I wasn't really sure what to do for an 800k video, but I made a video yesterday talking about it. And uh, I, I decided to do a Q&A, as I haven't really done one in freaking who knows how long. So yeah, I'm gonna be doing a Q&A today, and I asked you guys if you had any questions, ask me them on Twitter. So yeah, hopefully the questions will be quite interesting, and uh, with that being said, let's begin. Alright, so Mr. R wants to know, have you ever worked with someone before? Uh, yes I have. If you weren't aware, I have worked at fast food restaurants before, and uh, so yeah, you gotta work with people there. That was probably the only good part of working at a fast food restaurant, because uh, the job itself is horrible, but you know, the people were quite uh, quite fun to work with. All right, Lily asks, will you tell us a story about your car crash? I know we heard it uh, before, but I forget the story. Uh, basically, I was turning left, and uh, across from me, someone else was turning left. So I was going left, and they were going left, but we were both kind of pulled out into the, not into the middle of the road, but far enough so that I couldn't see behind that person. And behind that person, or at least in like my blind spot, someone was coming really fast, but it looked like the road was clear. So I'm like, you know what, I'll just go. And I went, and uh, yeah, that's how I got into an accident. I uh, now have paranoia when it comes to turning left. All right, uh, this person, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce the name, says, would you like it if I made a song plus music vid made of all the weird sounds you do? I'd love to make one. I mean, you can. I say don't waste your time because although like I've seen many people making like music remixes right and they're really cool but at the same time it's like I I don't think I would react to them because people don't seem to like them as a reaction and if you if you want me to react to it I don't think I would just because I don't think other people would be that interested in seeing it so it's probably not worth your time and I don't really want to waste your time uh you asked three questions this is illegal what are your favorite food combinations your grilled cheese and onion for example I don't know I have a very boring life grilled cheese and onion is about as extreme as I go sometimes <laughs> do you think you'd do fun weird quizzes as videos as videos like you have before. I don't know, I could if you have any suggestions for quizzes to do, maybe I'd do them. Let me know on Twitter. All right, this person, why are you coming fast? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't understand this question, but okay. <laughs> Is this like a dirty question or like, I don't know, whatever. All right, Stranger Stories asks, what's under the beanie? boy. Well, you'll find out if the channel ever hits 1 million subscribers. I've had so many people ask, like yesterday when I asked you guys what, um, what I should do, I had so many people like, oh, do a hair reveal or something like that. It's 1 million subscribers. If the channel ever hits a million subscribers, I will do one. I've said this. I've always said this. If, if it ever hits a million subscribers, I will do a hair reveal. And apparently, like judging from the growth statistics, I should hit it sometime next year. All right, Matthew uh, asks, genuinely, what are your plans for when you do eventually move out? Like, what would you start doing at uh, the new place that you don't do now? Well, if I'm freaking doing YouTube at that time, you know, whoever whoever knows when I'm gonna move out, but if I'm still doing YouTube, I plan to, I, I could do actual like house vlogs and whatnot. I could get a green screen. Like I can't really get one now because there's no room to put one here, right? I got a freaking wall here and a desk here. When I move out, I'm gonna get a, get a new desk one that's not an L shape. I'll get a green screen I could put behind me. You know, I, I have plans. I have plans. And I could do, like, vlogs because, like, I don't do vlogs really that much here or when I do them, I'm really specific on what I show because there's personal information everywhere and I, uh... I like to keep things private. That's a good question though. Super Poop Bros asks, have you ever written any songs? Yes, I have. Uh, specifically when I was younger. Well, maybe not that younger, maybe a few years ago, but I have written songs before. All right, Endgaming6000 asks, hey, Charix, are you thinking of making your own YTPs? If you don't know what YTPs are, it's a type of uh, video genre on YouTube where you take like an original source and you edit it to make it really funny. Uh, I've made some before. I really wish I could find them. There was one of the- <laughs> I was thinking of this recently. There's a YouTube poop I made. I don't know how long ago. But it, it made me laugh so hard. And it was this, oh, this old lady sticking her tongue out. And like, it made me laugh so freaking hard. Like when I made it. I, I was laughing like crazy. And I wish I could find it so I could react to it. Because I don't remember how it went. But I don't know what it's called. I, I don't even know the original clip. I know nothing, and I don't even think I have it like on a backup drive anywhere, so it, I think it's gone. But I do kind of want to make 
one again, like my own YouTube poop. But I just need a good YouTube poop source, and I don't know what to YouTube poop. I really don't know. Amateur Meme Queen asks, uh, who's your favorite melodic uh, death metal band? I've, I've mentioned this before, but it's Insomnium. And I don't think it'll ever change from that. Like, there's some other good bands like uh, Amon Amarth, Omnium Gatherum. And there's a couple others that are good, but uh, nothing compares to Insomnium for me. To me, Insomnium, like, when I found the band, it was in it was in a very dark time in my life. And, I mean, I still listen to it all the time. Because, you know, I don't think... Things get better in life, but you're... I guess I've been in a dark place for so long, I'm just so used to it, if that makes sense. Uh, but Insomnium would be the answer to that question. Blitter Flutter asks, uh, I have some questions. What editing software do you use? I use Adobe Premiere. And uh, what's your favorite type of food? I thought it said blood. I'm like, what the freak kind of question is that? Type, favorite type of food? That's a really good question. I don't know. I like pizza a lot, but every time I eat it, I regret and I just want to like, you know, ah! But, uh... I love pizza. I don't know. I love I love hamburgers too. French fries are pretty good. I don't know. I don't know what my favorite food is. I'll tell you. I, I eat the same things a lot. Like um, let me think of an example. I've been eating these like uh, packets that you put like they're like they're not really soup, but it's like a packet and you put it in hot water and then you it makes like soup. I've been eating them a lot recently and uh, I've been kind of getting sick of them and that's kind of like what I do where I'll find something new that I like and I'll just keep eating it and keep eating it and then I'll just hate it so uh, I don't know if I have a favorite food I have types of food I really like but I don't know if I have a favorite because normally when I find something I really like I'll just eat too much of it and then just hate it if that makes sense I don't know if that answers your question but I hope it helps answer it what is the most important goal for you in life as as of right now uh, that's a really good question I think Honestly, right now, I'm trying to finish my game. If you guys don't know, I've been making a video game. I've been doing it. I don't, how, I don't know how many hours I put into it. I do, like, maybe four hours a day worth of work on the game. And, uh, yeah, so I've been doing that for maybe six months now. Somewhere around there. And, uh, I, I'm at the point where I'm just working on, like, saves and loads. It's so, so tedious. But that's right near the end of the game. So I, I'm right near the end. And once that's done, I'll probably start doing some testing to make sure things are working right. Once that's done, I'll end up putting it up on Steam. And my my goal is to get it up on Steam and for it to be successful. However, I cannot guarantee success. So, you know, whatever happens, happens, I guess. Alright, Cap wants to know, is this you, Cap, huh? You created Twitter? Freaking trend follower. Uh, <laughs> I remember one time you said that your camcorder or something broke, but I don't remember seeing you break it. How did it break? Oh, you mean this? This piece of junk? I don't know how it broke. I don't know how it broke. In the last vlog I did, I used it, and it started corrupting, like, clips, and when I, like, started recording, it, it's, it's not working. Something broke, I don't know how, I haven't dropped it or anything, it's just not working right anymore. So, like, <laughs> even if I wanted to do a vlog for this milestone video, I don't think I could because that's broken. And I don't want to go out and spend $500 on a new camera, so, <laughs> yeah. Time Nerd wants to know, when will you sell a Charmix beanie with your name on it? I friggin' wish I could. I wish I could sell a beanie. I, you, if you guys don't know, I have a, I have a merch store, check it out, link in the description. I, I sell merch on Teespring, but they do not offer hats as something that you could sell. I wish they would, because I think people would really like having, like, a, and also, I need a new beanie. I would wear a new beanie. Like, it has to be a good beanie. My mother's gotten me a beanie before... And it's like this, but it's like, it's way too freaking long. It looks horrible on me. I need a nice, tight beanie. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't know. I wish I could, but they don't have them, so I can't. Ranch Cat wants to know, what microphone do you use? I use the Yeti Blue. A lot of people use it. But in order to make... Because if you just record on the Yeti, it doesn't sound that good. But if you go into Audacity, that's what I record with. It's a, like a free audio software. Once you go into there, there's some like changes you can do to the audio and make it sound better, like crisper. And that's what I normally do in my audio clips. Sometimes it like messes up though and, and the audio sounds so bizarre and I don't know. But I use the Yeti Blue to record. Corny you Unsi. Corny Unsi? Is that how you say it? I don't know. Will we actually ever going to get a what will we actually ever going to get an dude grammar will we actually ever going to get a actual house tour or vlog without you just recording your face and dog probably not and uh, the reason why is because I got we got personal information everywhere my parents just leave personal information just lying around 
And I, I, I'm very paranoid and very private, so I try to not, you know, if I am recording, I gotta be very selective with my shots. It's very annoying. I hate it. That's why when I move out, I can actually do vlogs and whatnot without being as paranoid. So I cannot wait to move out. Hopefully next year. Well, apparently next year, because uh, apparently I'm getting kicked out next year sometime, so... We got that to look forward to, don't we? All right, a friggin' corny, however you say it, wants to ask another question. What would you do after the Copa rules ac actually happens? Will you move to another platform? And if so, what's it gonna be? First off, Copa applies to everything on the internet, not just YouTube. YouTube's just complying with the law. Like, if you go to uh, uh, <laughs> any other website, Copa it applies. Like, if, you were to start, if I were to start uploading videos on, I don't know, what other websites are there? Like, Vimeo? Or, well, not, I don't think, I think VidMe shut down. You know, if you go to any other website, it, the rules are still gonna apply. But, uh, I can tell you, I've actually finished going through videos on the main channel, selecting whether they're uh, for kids or for adults. And personally, I don't really make videos for kids. At least I, I feel as if I don't. But I know kids will watch, like, the SML, SMG4 videos. So I've had to ding all of them. And uh, I've had to ding a whole bunch of other ones. I don't know. So, uh, yeah. January is gonna be fun. All right, Owl Dude asks, "Can you sing Sweet Home Alabama, but only for a few seconds? You don't get copyrighted. I want to hear that nice uh, vice voice, bruh. How does Sweet Home Alabama even go? All right, I gotta go look it up. Sweet Home Alabama. Ba -na 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 -na. That's enough singing for you. All right, uh, Fishy Face asks, "Have you always done reaction videos, or were there many failed attempts at making a channel?" You mean like other channels? Uh, yeah, there were many. I've been doing YouTube since uh, around 2008, <laughs> which is a long, long time. I've been doing YouTube, but I, I've had many channels. I think I've done almost every kind of genre on YouTube. Like you name it, I've probably done that kind of genre as a channel, <laughs> almost besides like makeup or food cooking. I think at one time I actually did attempt doing food cooking. That didn't go over so well, but yeah. Uh, Here's a little motivation for you guys. Um, if you want to do something, like if you want to do YouTube, or you want to do a business or whatever, and it doesn't work out the first time, keep trying. Because uh, this is um, a good analogy. It's kind of like throwing darts at a dartboard. You might miss a hundred times, but eventually you're going to hit the bullseye. So you got to keep on trying, no matter how many times you fail, learn from that mistake, adjust your approach, try again, and keep on trying until you eventually get it. And it might take... If, you know, if I've been doing YouTube for since 2008, that is, is so, so many years, so many years before, you know, I got any kind of, you know, success or whatever you want to say. But, um, yeah, anyway. Anyway. All right, Jack7M asks, who's Joe? <laughs> really? I'm not going to fall for that, Jack. I'm not going to fall for that. Spoopy Boy asks, my name Jeff? My name Jeff. Yanis asks, favorite cheese? That's a good question. I don't know. I really like Swiss cheese. I think Swiss is my, uh, my favorite cheese. Jack asks, why don't you finally make your own subreddit where we can post memes about you and you react to them once every week? I was actually gonna do something like that. Well, someone already made a subreddit for me. And I, I went and checked it out one day, going to make a video, and there was, like, nothing on there. So I'm like, ah, screw it. So, uh... I hope that answers your question. So there is one. I guess if you want to start posting memes on there, you can. But uh, it'd have to be a whole bunch of people that have to go over there. I, I don't even know what it's called, but I know it does exist. Hans uh, Jorn, that is, is that a Viking name? What's one thing you hate about editing? I don't know. I really like editing. I find it quite, to be quite fun. Definitely when I like, you know, if I react to scary videos now and then, I'll insert like a gnome sound or, or something like that. Just a gnome, you guys. <laughs> I find that to be the, probably the best part of it. Just inserting little memes and stuff just to mess with you. <laughs> uh, King Gamer asks, "Do you actually sleep in the basement, or do you have your own room?" I have, <laughs> I have my own room. It's upstairs. I sleep upstairs, but I spend most of the day in the basement. So I hope that answers your question. Twisted asks, "Charmix, will you ever live stream reactions or maybe a let's play?" You know, I was thinking of doing something like that. I might in the future when I move out. Basically, I need to get frick. When I move out, I need to buy a new computer. This thing, uh, I've been having problems with it, and I wanted to upgrade. But I would also need to get a new, like, t I want two monitors. I only have one, 
and I know for like live streaming you should it's always best to have two because that way on one monitor you can have the stream on another monitor you can have uh friggin the technical stuff but I don't know I'm, I'm also like really hesitant towards doing a live stream because I can say some edgy things sometimes and in videos I when I'm editing I'm like yeah probably should cut that out but on live stream you can't so I don't know <laughs> I don't know if I don't know if it's a good idea, you know. Knowing me, I'd end up messing up, and it could probably, uh, yeah, not go over so well for me. And when I say that, it's not like, oh no, I'm gonna say something absolutely horrible, horrible. It's like, oh, I might make too edgy of a joke. And uh, yeah, you gotta be careful what you say online nowadays. Edward G asks, is the ghost still in your basement? Oh, if you guys don't know, uh, it's supposed to be like six months, seven months ago now, or maybe even longer. I had this like um. This orb flying around in my videos. And I personally think it's not a ghost, but like a spirit. I don't know what the frig it wants. But it's gone. So, hey. Good. I don't need that. Thomas asks, why did you start YouTube? Why did I start YouTube? Uh, I don't know. It's a good question. That's a really good question. I've been doing YouTube since, or as I said, around 2008-ish. And, and I've always kind of wanted to do YouTube. And I don't even know why. I've, I've just always wanted to do it. I felt like that's kind of... I don't know, like, my purpose in life was to do YouTube, which I know that sound can see- I know that can seem kind of sad, but, I don't know, from a very young age, I've always felt like this was what I was meant to do. So, yeah. I don't know if that answers your question. Alright, my name- <laughs> Frig off. My name Jeff asks- <laughs> My name Jeff? Uh, favorite hobby besides YouTube? How do you keep yourself busy when you're not recording? I've mentioned this before, but, you know, I get up early in the morning, like, normally 6 o'clock. Some days I get up at 5 o'clock, you know, in the morning. So those days are a little bit hard to record, but I get up early so I can get to work on YouTube. I know a lot of people aren't like that. A lot of YouTubers sleep into like 9, 10, 11, sometimes like 2 in the, in the afternoon. But no, I get up at, I get up at like 6 to 5 a.m. I, I get to work and after I'm done filming and freaking editing and uploading, after that I then go and work out down here. And then after I have a shower and eat, I then start working again, but I, I move over to working on my video game that I'm doing. And then once that's done, I... I like, normally I'll finish working on my video game at like, I don't know, 6 o'clock at night, something like that. And then I'll, I'll play, um, I'll play some games on the computer for like maybe an hour or two. And then I go to bed, watch some Netflix or YouTube, and then just go to bed. Do you ever plan on branching out your content from reactions like, uh, commentary, gaming, vlogs? Gaming? Probably not. Even though I have been kind of branching it out with the new COPA rules that have been introduced, that's gonna be a nope. Because apparently, mostly gaming videos are- you can't even do. So, that's terrific. Vlogs? Once I move out, whatever that'll be, I would do vlogs. Commentary? I could start getting into some type of commentary stuff. But I don't really like saying negative things about people. So it's kind of hard to do commentary related stuff when you don't want to be an a-hole. <laughs> but I could talk about certain topics. And I think I will eventually start branching out into topic- talking about certain topics. As well as like normal reactions. I don't know. What is your reason why you like Jeff? <laughs> I don't know why I love that meme. But my name Jeff. I guess it's such an unfunny and stupid meme that that is what makes it funny to me. <laughs> I don't know. I hope that explains it. I don't know if it does. What is my fondest memory of uh, my time running or my channel? That's a very good question. But I don't know what my fondest memory is. Because every day is basically like not the same. Some days are worse than others, some days I have more panic and anxiety uh, revolving YouTube. Especially with the COPA crap that happened, you know, a week or so ago. Oh, that was a- that was a bad time mentally. So, you know, when- when that kind of stuff's not happening, and I'm kind of at like an even- <laughs> I'm at like an even mental state, every day is relatively the same. I enjoy every day, but there's nothing that really stands out as being my fondest memory. Alright, so, uh, I'm reaching a point in the video where I'm- I've been recording for a long time now, and editing this is gonna get- <laughs> be a very pain in the butt, and I got a whole- I got other videos to film today. So, I'm gonna do, a, a quick answer to a whole bunch of questions, if that makes sense. So, um, here we go. Do you watch the Report of the Week? Yes, I do. Well, now and then, not all the time, but yes, I do. He's, uh, I don't know, he's- He's a unique character, I guess. You know, he- he seems like he belongs in a different time. A different era. John Charmix, why are you the greatest reactor of all time? Personally, I don't think I'm the greatest reactor of all time. Uh, but I definitely prefer how I react to videos now compared to how I used to react to videos. I used to react to videos like um, a lot of other people where they just don't say much during the reaction. And I definitely prefer how I do it now, where I talk more and I give more insight nowadays. And uh, I was definitely inspired uh, to do that by Blasphemous HD. 
whom I, I really used to love his reactions. But, I mean, now all he does is, like, Family Guy stuff. Anyway, I prefer how I am now compared to how it used to be. But I guess, you know, um, it's all to personal opinion on who you think's the greatest. All right, will you ever shave your beard? <laughs> I had someone suggest I do this for 800k. Hell no. <laughs> I will not shave my beard. I will not shave my beard. I freaking I love my beard. I don't want to shave it. Me without a beard, I look I don't know. I don't I don't like how I look without a beard. So now that I actually have one and I grew the uh, the nuts to grow a beard, because I was always really hesitant to do it. But now that I've actually done it, I don't think or I don't see myself going back. Wyatt what? What? Uh, wants to know, uh, how much do you actually weigh? No judge, I'm fat, so. I weigh, I used to weigh at my heaviest, 210, but now I weigh one... I'm trying to think of what, I weighed myself a few days ago, I'm trying to think of what it was. I think it was like 155, I'm trying to get down to 150, it's freaking difficult. But yeah, if you want to lose weight, the best, I don't know, how I did it was, I just got fed up, I got so fed up, and I just like, started counting calories. Once you start counting calories, you don't even have to work out to lose weight. I lost so much weight just by counting calories. I know this has nothing to do with it, but I love giving fitness advice. I've been working out since like 2008-ish, but you don't even have to work out to lose weight. If you want to lose weight, you got to count calories, and that's mostly calories. I mean, if you want to get look toned, that's working out, right? But for male, I think it's recommended to lose weight, you should be eating 2,000 calories a day. I believe, look it up, I guess it all depends on your metabolism or whatnot. And I believe for female, I, I think it's like 1,500. I think that's the numbers, you gotta go look it up, but it's, it's count your calories, and there we go. Sad souls, when are you going to react to r slash okay buddy read? <laughs> that's a subreddit? What the frig is it? Okay, I'm gonna add that. I'm gonna add that to my list of subreddits to check out. That's funny. I don't know what that is though. When will you eat a bagel in a video? That is a, that's a random question. Gamerx, I, Germic, friggin' this person asks. <laughs> Do you have a girlfriend? At the moment, no. As I've given an example, I don't have time, you know, I'm either working on YouTube or working on my, my game, and then I just go to bed. I don't have time at the moment. I figure once I'm done working on my game, and it gets out, depending on its success, that I can kind of relax and get more of a social life, if that makes sense. Anyway. Do you have a big boy brain? Not really, I'm quite an idiot. <laughs> Why won't you ever do a video with your parents or at least show them? One, I don't know how they feel about being on camera, and two, I've mentioned this before, but I like to keep- I like to be very private about my, uh, life, and I don't know if I- I'd want people seeing my parents, because they're very ugly. <laughs> they're not ugly. They're- I just- I just- I don't know, I'm just paranoid. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. Thank you to everyone who asked, uh, questions, and, uh, I hope- I hope this gives you a little bit more insight about me, and, uh, yeah, there were some questions that were a little bit too personal, so I didn't answer them, so if I didn't answer your question, either one, it was too personal, or two, I- maybe I just didn't even see it, and, uh, yeah, I hope you guys like this, and, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Boop!